Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream, and so do I. Past, present, and future. We study the past, condemn the present, and hope for the future. They say that we are repeating history, and it's a reality that we are stuck. We are stuck in a cycle of corrupt leadership, broken dreams, starving children, and can't get out of it. Our age textbooks written in the late 90s seems as though we are reading the same news stories of today, but with different names. We are like a student the night before an assignment is due, plagiarizing ourselves in hopes that no one notices, but we notice. Yes, I notice. I notice how wars are still going on, United Nations propositions are failing, and genocides are occurring. I notice how mothers and fathers are crying over the deaths of their children, and children are crying over the deaths of their mothers and fathers. I notice how war tears bonds apart by loss. I notice how we are paying billions to create nuclear weapons when those billions could be saving lives. I notice how many people are forced to flee their homes just to be turned back to a place that has now disappeared under ashes of what it once used to be. I notice how my country, Palestine, alongside many other countries are being neglected by the world. And yes, I notice how a ban has been put on a certain type of people because of the actions of a fraction. I notice how we are rewriting history. All that I've mentioned, we can relate back to historical events. A Muslim ban, the Holocaust. Nuclear weapons, the arms race back in Second World War. Two different eras, but the exact same situation. Ironic. Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream, and I have another. Let's break this cycle. This cycle that is constantly spinning. Instead of making wars, let's make scientific breakthroughs. Instead of paying to protect ourselves, pay to better ourselves. Instead of spreading hate, spread education, spread love, spread health. Instead of hearing that your baby cousins have been killed in an airstrike in Gaza, give them the gift of life that they rightfully deserve. This is all just a bunch of words, but words that I proudly say. I will not be silenced by what we've accepted to be reality. And I don't care if I'm remembered as the girl who could or even as the girl who couldn't. But at least I'll be the girl who tried. Martin Luther King Jr. had a dream, and this, this is mine. Thank you.